everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is gonna be a room tour. I haven't done a room tour since like October when I moved into my third year accommodation but because I'm staying at Somerville College I thought that it would be a, be a really good idea to show you a room tour of a different college that isn't St Peter's. Obviously I only have like two weeks worth of stuff, I have more than two weeks worth of stuff but I have a limited amount of stuff so if if I was here for like a whole year, um, I would fill up all of these shelves that I haven't put anything on. But for now, the room looks quite empty, but it does look lived. So, on with the tour. So this is what my room looks like as you enter. It's pretty big, it's bigger than my room was this year. Really spacious. You have desk here, nice light window. The one thing that I really love about this room is how light it is because my room the third year wasn't light at all and so I think I'm, I just love this room. Like the bed is so comfortable, I'll show you that as well, but just this window, you can see how light it is just from like the way my camera didn't really know how to respond to that lighting change. But yeah, it's got such a nice big window and the view out of the window is also stunning. Like it doesn't feel like you're at like a heavy institution. Like yeah, you have this awful building here which is like classic 60s architecture. But then also you have this building here and then all of the grass and then this, this old building. You can't go onto the balcony. I think you could at one point, but they've now got like these safety things on it so the window doesn't open all the way, unfortunately. Having a balcony would be pretty cool. This is the bed, and like I said, this is so comfortable. I didn't have a particularly comfortable bed at St. Peter's. Uh, I think it just wasn't a great bed. I think the reason this bed is so comfortable is because it has like a second mattress underneath, and if you I think it can be unscrewed and like you can pull out a second bed. I think that's, yeah, that's like what it is. It's got like a guest bed in it. But because I'm only using one, it's almost like I'm sleeping on two mattresses. So it's incredibly comfortable, really firm and really nice. My sleep has been excellent. <laughs> I've gone to bed late and I've had to be up early, but the sleep that I've had has been really good because of how good the beds were. And this isn't like just in this accommodation building, I've had like all the other staff members have also said that their bed in their accommodation, which is like the ones across that I said look disgusting from the outside, in the inside they're actually really nice and the bed is again really nice. Some have said they're a bit weirdly designed, like the sink's in a weird place but what is student accommodation like? What do you expect? It's a lot of cupboard space. So we have this cupboard here, which has got two shelves in it. I haven't got anything in there. They're a bit dusty, definitely need cleaning. I've made this area like my makeshift drying rack for now because I've been washing everything up in my sink that's in, my, in here. This isn't, a wardrobe. this isn't a wardrobe, this is a sink with a good mirror that like actually does work more storage space up there for things that you know aren't really like needed and then they've got so many shelves which is so good and then also a wardrobe with not a lot of hanging space there like, i think that you might need a rail but that could go quite easily there and then there's also these shelves here which i have all of like my cooking stuff on but anyone who was here all year would put them in the kitchen so I've just nabbed some stuff and lined them up on this shelf space and I've got the bins underneath and like my shoes there but I definitely put all of this in the kitchen. In these drawers I've got a lot of clothes so I've sort of folded and I've got more clothes in here uh, more <laughs> I over I overpacked basically and then a bedside table 
which I've got like my retainer and my earplugs because these students are quite loud like it's more the doors bang not that they're like being loud but doors banging does wake you up and we have got two chairs so we've got our, like the chair that you put all of your clothes on you know you need one of those or at least I do and then this is just the desk it's a really good sized desk and it's really light because of where it's positioned it was like reference to the window the Wi-Fi router is also like on the ceiling in my room so I always get really good signal it doesn't cut out and it's it's great like it's right there I don't know if they're in every room or whether this because it's the first room on the corridor whether I have the Wi-Fi router because of that and like this is for the whole corridor but for me the Wi-Fi is great and there is like a little radiator which unlike my one at St Peter's can actually be changed that like you can say what temperature you want it at which I know you wouldn't think that was like a luxury but I've not had that so I guess it is a luxury to like actually have heating that you can kind of control as opposed to it just blasting out hot air so these rooms do actually have kitchens um, this is the kitchen they're pretty small, but there is like a little fridge with some storage space. And like a toaster, microwave hob. Yeah, it's all you need really, because there's only, I think, six rooms and there's one of these on each floor. So it's pretty good. I didn't get this in when I was in first year. There is only one toilet on the floor though, which is a bit of an issue because it's always in use. Which is there. And then Hey. And then around this corner is two showers. This one, they're pretty standard showers. They're really good water pressure though. And the temperatures are great. So I really like them. With just like a sink there. And then another shower here that's exactly the same. But I think the accommodation here is all out really nice. Like I've really enjoyed staying here. And the corridors have a really nice view of the Radcliffe Observatory over there. The Doctors is just behind this building, so they're really well connected. That's the School of Business, Blavatnik School of Government. And then Oxford University Press is here. Yeah, it's a really nice area here. So some of those kind of in Jericho, which is in that general direction. <laughs> I feel like this was a really short video, but I have nothing else to show you. I've taught the whole room and the kitchen and the toilet and I don't really have anything else to show you. So I hope this video was like helpful to people who are like thinking of uh, applying to Somerville and just Oxford in general just to get a feel for the inside of colleges that you, you don't really get to do unless you come to an open day and not everyone can come to an open day. Thank you for watching. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video and subscribe if you haven't already. Bye!